it's better to give than receive. Those, that's what's been on my brain for the past, went on my heart for the past couple days. I need an outlet to do that, to speak on that, so I'm gonna use my camera phone. And I might be the only person to go watch this, but that's okay, that's cool, because it's not about that, it's about I got to just let this out. It's better to give than receive. At first thought, we th when you hear that, you think, yes, it is better to give than to receive. And then in turn, you think about you as the giver because nobody, you know, ourselves often, more often than not, we don't think of ourselves as takers, as those who receive. We think of ourselves as giving because you just look at your schedule today and from now until Christmas, you're gonna be giving your time, your energy, your money your credit card number you know i mean it's going it's going nuts everything's going crazy from now until christmas so you generally and i generally do not have a problem with this better to give than receive but i think the second layer of that has to do with who and what we give who we give to and what we give to them because the people whom I give to the most would be my children, my wife, my church, my family, my friends. But in turn, as I think about that, when I give that, when I give, whether it's a gift, time, energy, money, whatever, I do receive. I don't do it for, to receive anything as far as a gift back or time back. You know, we don't do that. But it's comfortable. I like it. And the bottom line is, I know that it's reciprocated. And that's what makes me want to do that. I want to do something nice for them because they've done nice things for me in the past and we will do nice things in the future. But it's, it's not a tit-for-tat type of situation. It's just, a, uh, just what we do. I don't think that's the giving the Bible talks about. I don't think that's it at all because in that giving to that group to my circle I'm also receiving simultaneously maybe not at that point but I will be or I have so in that context I guess you and I are both um, receivers Let's look at that on another angle, and then we'll bring it back together. The other angle is to, it's better to give than receive. For example, yesterday we had a group, or not a group, but a, a husband and wife came by the church. Long story short, uh, actually short story, because it's like most of them, they're on their way somewhere else. They don't work, they don't have a job, they have no help, no support system, and they need money today, right now right now they need gas they need food this particular couple needed a tire and they ask for us to give so that they can receive and see here's what i'm talking about so in my in my mind i'm thinking okay the church has in different ministries have uh given myself and other folks responsibility to handle these gift cards and monies to give out and make the correct choice so just because a person comes up doesn't mean they necessarily get something so we have to make a you know we have to make that call on the spot this particular couple i thought was legit so what we gave them was um enough uh for what they needed for for yesterday gas food and a little bit extra you know in case something happens and um Felt good about it, felt legit about it. Because if I felt that they were not going to use it for those reasons or that they uh, weren't really traveling or what or whatever, if I felt they were lying in any way, I probably would have not given them anything at all. And when the Bible says it's better to give than receive, I think about that from yesterday because giving to them was good they received that was good yesterday was a good one 
But then I think, what business is it of mine once I give and what they do with the money or the gift card or whatever or the food? And you might be saying, well, yeah, we give that money to help people. and We got to make sure that it's given to people who genuinely need help. And I, I agree with that on that on that level. But man, what if God extended his grace that way? What if God gave his giftedness that way? What if God, you know, um, forgave that way? Where would, where would you be? Where would I be? If God's contention on giving us grace was that we wouldn't trample on it and take advantage of his grace, or he wouldn't give it, then you and I wouldn't have it. If God extended his forgiveness with the intentions that we would once forgiven no longer sin if that was the if that was the plan we would not have forgiveness see it's better to give than receive and I'll tell you why because when you give you have relinquished responsibility to the other person when you receive you have gained a new responsibility How do you know if you're giving? Well, first of all, you're not getting back at all. Like, no, like, no, very little chance that you will ever get back from that. That's why we spend more money, more time, and energy on our kids than we do like the person that we don't know off the street. So, if we're going to get back, we're investing. We get something. I'm not saying don't give it to your kids. I understand there's a balance. I know. I'm just trying to get us to think on the other side to expand our brain. See, when God gives me grace, he has extended that grace. Now it's my responsibility. And so the question is, have I given that grace? Or are you just, am I just a receiver? Because, see, God extends his grace to you, but not just for you, so that you in turn extend it to others. So if you're like God you know, forgive me, give me grace, give me grace to get through this. And then in turn, you're holding grudges or you're, you're holding on to hurt, on to pain and not extending grace to the other person. Don't you see the principle? The principle isn't a nice principle. The principle is a practical one because God set the example by extending grace to you. Now it's your responsibility. See, when you extend grace to someone, you become free of that and now it's their responsibility. But instead, we hold on to it. To extend forgiveness, to give forgiveness, to give grace. See, those are things we give with, with no hope for return. We don't want the return. It's their responsibility. But as long as we don't extend grace, as long as we don't give grace, give forgiveness. See, we're still holding on to that. And we're a receiver. We receive grace from God. We receive uh, forgiveness from God. We receive <coughs> the blessings of this life from God. And yet we don't give it. We're a taker. I'm a taker. We're spoiled, rotten little kids. This Christmas, I would encourage myself, encourage you, to give something only you can give. That's grace and forgiveness with no expectation of return. And see if that promise is true. See if that principle is true. It's better to give than receive. See what you think. See ya.